had to make a quick stop at a certain candy slash movie store. gone. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that I remember my laundry booking correctly and I do. I do. Tomorrow at two o'clock. I feel like I'm intruding on people here because there's laundry hanging here. I don't need to show you people's laundry, I guess, but I just needed to check my time. Okay, I found another copy of My Neighbor Totoro. It's, they have a sale going on, so only 49 for that, and I can sell that for 200 See, that's where the light switch is, not here where I'm feeling. And uh, welcome to a, well, welcome to a pretty long vlog, I, I'm guessing. This uh, is always the problem when I, when I, I mean, I feel like I'm such a repetitive, boring person every time I mention this. But of course, we know, when I refer to time, the, the video might be, might be of a certain length, then, of course, by now you will know that. I don't need to mention that. Uh, because the video is done right now when you're watching this, but right now for me, I don't know. So I'm just acknowledging the fact that it might very well be a long video. But I just thought that I would make a summer vlog here. I'm going up to Stockholm in a few days on, on Wednesday. And um, it's Friday today and I just was well, just up at my dad's place and had some dinner, had some, you know, discussions with the family and always nice. So. And on Wednesday I'm going up to Stockholm. I haven't booked my ticket yet. I'm going by train, but I'm guessing uh, the plans will not change. Uh, I'm going to the archipelago in Stockholm, which I, I filmed there before. And I thought that I was just going to make a vlog when I went up there. But then I thought that I would extend it and make a bit of a summer vlog, which I did in 2013, which was you know throughout the whole summer. A very, very much a different project than project than this, which is just a vlog, but a long one. Yeah, but I just, I'm just gonna film the stuff that I feel like I want to film, and um, I'm gonna make a long summer vlog out of this. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna film much now. I'm just gonna, just wanted to introduce the video here. Uh, I will be filming over the next two weeks, I guess, or something like that. Uh, I'm gonna see my grandpa on Tuesday. He will be arriving uh, then and uh, I'm going to my mom's new apartment, so I guess I'll show you that. Um, and then uh, when I get home from Stockholm, I, I, I don't know, I might film some more stuff then, but maybe not. So hope you will enjoy this. Um, I'm going to enjoy making it. And uh, right now, what I'm going to enjoy is something I will leave you out of, I'm afraid, because I have a... Um, bag of packages here which I picked up earlier today or I well one of them I picked up or two of them I picked up three of them I found in my mailbox and like I said before when you open up that mailbox and it's like you know it's like a hallelujah moment hallelujah moment when you see that you have some stuff waiting for you that you've ordered and uh, that's always such a nice little welcome <laughs> when you open that up but yes, this is going to be part of future videos, I'm just going to open it up off camera and include it in future haul videos. Anyway, I'm going to have fun opening this stuff up and um, watch something on TV in the background. 
or perhaps have some YouTube videos on. Uh, so I'll see you a bit later whenever something comes up that I feel like, you know, is worth documenting. <laughs> but obviously I feel like my life is so interesting that it's worth documenting. Uh, you know, I don't, I, I film 40 minute videos of me just sitting here talking about, about a bunch of stuff that is really of no importance. So um, what I find worth documenting I've had some problems sleeping lately, I don't know exactly why, um, but I have fallen, fallen, asleep, fallen asleep very late or very early, I have been up all night and then I've been working out in the evenings instead, uh, yesterday and two days ago. Today I worked out in the afternoon, but I think I'm, I'm managing to turn, turn it around again, uh, hopefully anyway, because on Wednesday when I'm leaving, I'm gonna have to leave pretty early, so if I don't sleep, I'm gonna be tired, but I guess I'll be tired. In that case, nothing more than that, but still, I would prefer not to be tired. I would prefer to be rested and uh, energetic before I leave um, for a long train ride. But, you know, well, I can sleep on the train, but I never do. It's not really comfortable and I can't relax, so... I'm back. It's about ten, ten minutes later. I have, in between these clips, eaten an ice cream. That's a fact. I just opened up one of these um, packages and I was expecting a Nancy Boys by Neil Gaiman. I don't know what... Warriors... Bramble Star Storm. Obviously they've given me the wrong book here. And I was hoping to um, kind of have a Nancy Boys, you know, and some other books that I've purchased when I went up to Stockholm because it's nice to read up there. That's never happened before, I've, you know, this is a pretty big place and I've never ordered something from this bookstore before and received the wrong item. It's about cats and stuff. It is. It is dark. I'm gonna have to turn the light on. It is, um, it is also Monday. It's uh, two days until I leave and tomorrow I will uh, yeah, see my grandpa and his uh, significant other who's gonna come with him, which she does maybe half of the times that he comes down here, or up, or left, <laughs> west. So they will be coming here tomorrow at, uh, well, early afternoon, I guess, lunchtime, early afternoon, check out the apartment, because they haven't been here before, um, and then we will head off to, head over to my mom's new apartment, which I haven't shown you before either, so I'll do that, um, and... Um, yeah, and then on on Wednesday I will I will leave for Stockholm, and I have booked my ticket today. Uh, I will leave early in the morning. Well, pretty early. I mean, considering how late I've been going to sleep these past well this past week, I guess I will be surprised if I'm not gonna be tired on Wednesday. Um, it leaves at eight twenty approximately, so. You know, I, I might get a few hours, but we'll see. Uh, and then when I we, when I arrive to Stockholm, uh, my cousin and my aunt, who are the ones who, it is main, mainly um, mainly the two of them these days who go up there to the archipelago. Um, so I will be seeing them. We will go, you know, have a look in Stockholm as we always do. And um, then my my cousin just said um, on Facebook that she will be, we will be going to a museum and I asked what museum is that and she said well that's a secret so um, I said oh how exciting I have no idea what museum I think there is a film museum in Stockholm I have no idea where or exactly how big or exactly what it is I mean except for the fact that it's a film museum I have no idea uh, but I'm thinking it it might be that. So um, if if you'll see footage from a, a film museum or whatever kind of museum uh, two days from now, then uh, that's where we are. I mean, if you wonder why we're, we're in a museum, uh, because I might not find the opportunity to vlog in Stockholm, because, you know, pulling out the camera, uh, you know, in the middle of the street in Stockholm, I, I do not feel comfortable enough to do that, unfortunately. So um, I'm guessing um, we will just... You know, we will find ourse ourselves in a museum just like that if I am, if we end up going there and if I end up filming. Uh, but it seems like we will go to a museum. Um, but yeah, so that sounds fun. I uh, can't wait to see what they have planned 
Well, it might not be a film museum. It's not like um, it's a it's 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 Joel Day, you know. It's not. I mean, I, I don't know. But I just assumed uh, since she didn't want to tell me, and since she said that it was a surprise, it might be something like that. But I don't know. Uh, I usually I usually don't go to museums. Uh, but I found lately that um, I'm I'm as you know as opposed to before. I'm not opposed to the idea. I, I used the word opposed two times in, in one sentence. That's really really strange. Anyway, I just took a shower and um, I will be... Um, uh, I, mean, I don't know what I was going to say. Uh, I know these past few days have just flown by. It feels like I was just talking to you, but it's um, three, three days ago. Um, but anyway, um, I I guess that's that. But I will, I will film some stuff tomorrow and then uh, going up to Stockholm in two days. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, I will be going home most likely on Tuesday. I might be uh, looking after the dogs. I don't know if I said that, but uh, when I get home, I might be looking after after the dogs because my well, my other family they're going up to Stockholm. So to, to Stockholm. So when when I'm going back, they will they will go up there, and uh, they just asked me if I if I if I had the time, then it would be good if I could look after the dogs for a few hours every day because my Otherwise, my sister would have done it, but she's working for a few hours every day. So during those hours when she's working, I might have to look after those little dogs. <laughs> so I, I don't really mind, but um, honestly, I, I, I don't like going out for a walk with, with the dogs. I, I just don't, I don't like the attention <laughs> of, of, you know, two cute dogs. Um, people will definitely... Um, well, they have, you know, they, there's a tendency of people coming up to you, I guess, when you have, when you're walking around with two cute dogs, and I really don't care much for that. <laughs> so, um, that's the only aspect that I don't really care for. But uh, otherwise, it's it can be kind of nice to go out with two Bolognese dogs if they want to cooperate. It's not. <laughs> uh, I will be surprised if Stella, the older one, cooperates because she usually doesn't want to walk. Uh, unless she knows the owner, or unless she knows the uh, walker, whatever, really well, and she knows me, but not not well enough to just walk out me, w walk walk take a walk with me just like that. Um, so she might not want to go. I might I, I might have to carry her. I'm gonna make some food. I'm gonna close the window because I can't stand hearing that music. Um, there's some people having a party over there, and I don't mind that, but I just don't like hearing it in my apartment. So <laughs> I'm so grumpy. I know. And also, there's a it's a hole in my in my sock. I, what's up with that? Half. My and now the battery ran out in the middle of the sentence too. So that's that's yet another thing that pissed me off right now. Soon, however, I'm just, just gonna lie down. This was not comfortable. <laughs> I'm gonna sit up again. Soon, however, I will be off to a more peaceful place, off to the archipelago. So I'm looking forward to that. You know, if you're gonna listen to music, at least listen to some King Crimson. Or you know some um, some good music, you know. Oh, you piece of fucking shit! You can see how social I am too, I have the drapes down constantly. Well, anyway, um, it's really late, um, but this really isn't, isn't all that late, considering how... <laughs> I mean, I've been going to bed like... Well, 6 a.m., you know, approximately. I went to bed like 8 a.m., I think. 8 a.m. Uh, I hate when my Swedish accent really comes, comes through um, more than usually anyway. Anyway, I've been going to bed at like 8 a.m. Um, well, at least one one time, and uh, so I've averaged maybe six hours a night every day, uh, something like that. Yeah, not every night because I haven't been sleeping during the night. But yeah, so I slept a little bit longer tonight, uh, probably like 10 or something. Let's make some healthy uh, dinner. This <laughs> and um, yeah, let's have a look through my cupboard. Still have some of the stuff left from my last candy unboxing. Uh, <laughs> peanut butter. Uh, no, what, I'm, what am I looking for? I'm looking for um, this. 
macaroni. Three minutes. You know, you really gotta be patient for these because, you know, I'm kidding. But, um, yeah, so that's what I, will, what I will have today. It looks pretty um, unappetizing. <laughs> it looks so dull, but it's, uh, it's tasty. Trust me. It's, it's tasty because it's not very healthy. Good morning. I don't know why I do this with my hand, but uh, it is Tuesday and um, it's not morning though, but it feels like it because I just went up, just got up. Well, not just, well, I, I did get up at like 2 p.m., but then again I fell asleep at like 7 a.m. So, yes, again, <laughs> how will I be able to fall asleep tonight? I don't know. Uh, we'll see what happens, but um, yeah, I've gotten ready, I've done a few things that I felt need needed to be done before company, you know, I tried to make the place a bit nicer, but really there's not much difference. Um, but I, I at least did the dishes and opened up the windows and made my bed, which I haven't done since I moved in. Well, maybe I have, but anyway, you know, I mean, you can tell that I... <laughs> Look at how wrinkly this is. This has been lying in a pile over there for a few weeks. But anyway, so I've, I've done some packing here, some clothes, but now it's time to bring the movies because I'm gonna bring this laptop over here because, you know, I can't, I can't watch movies on that and if, even if I could, it's a pretty small screen. It's a pretty handy computer to bring. I mean, I reckon this is, you know, three, four times heavier, but um, this is the one that I'm gonna go with. Also, I'm transferring some music to my ancient MP3 player, to my obsolete MP3 player. <laughs> um, yeah, I added some... Um, transferred some music on from CDs and I'm thinking of selling all my CDs. I have sold quite a few actually and I'm getting more for them than I thought I would and I have quite some CDs left here, quite a few left so I'm gonna sell most of them I think because I just don't use them and I'd rather have the space for movies. So I'm just transferring the music onto my um, laptop, the, the music that I want and for now I just have a handful, well a dozen CDs I think on my laptop or on my, on my mp3 player and I also transferred a couple of um, podcasts that I will listen to on my way up on the train. One that I'm really excited about is the Nerdist podcast where David Schwimmer is being interviewed. David Schwimmer from Friends, obviously. So I'm looking forward to that. I haven't seen much of him, much of him uh, lately. I mean, although, well, lately I have, because he's been in the spotlight now in this past year or so, which is really cool. But uh, before that, it, it's been a long time since I, I've seen much of him. Anyway, but I'm gonna, you know, do the most important <laughs> bit of packing here. Choose what movies I want to watch, because, yeah, I'm gonna want to watch some movies while I'm up there. And uh, me and my cousin, she, I mean, she told me to bring movies, because we usually enjoy watching movies together. That's always nice. So, um, I will do that. I don't know what movies to bring, but I will show you very soon. Okay, one hour later. I don't know how long, how much later. But I want to make sure to, to pick the best titles. Uh, no Blu-rays though, my laptop, I tried one Blu-ray, it doesn't work, which I didn't think, that I, but I thought that I would try one to see, but no, no Blu-rays, so just DVDs, um, but I brought a bunch of Peep Show, I think, my cousin likes um, British comedy, so I think she might like Peep Show, um, some Seinfeld, she, do, she doesn't like Seinfeld, but I'm currently re-watching it, so I thought that I would <laughs> bring some Menace to Society, I remember, remember nothing from that, so I kind of want to see that again. Uh, Silkwood haven't seen that. Coupe de Ville haven't seen it. Shoe Shine have not seen it. Wreck. That's a bonus disc. Uh, just some various stuff. Real humans haven't seen that show. Grotesco, great Swedish <laughs> humor. All right, but that's that. I brought some two greedy Italians. I think she might like that. So some choices we obviously will not be able to go through all of that, but that's how it always is. I usually bring a shitload of stuff and we watch a fraction of it, but that's that's <laughs> that's the way we've done it for years. So we, we are experienced with not watching even 10% of what I bring. So, but but it's good it's good to have choices, and that's <laughs> usually why I bring so much. All right, I should be expecting them soon. Um, and then we'll go to my mom's house after they've had a, had a look around. <sighs> okay, they came, they saw, and they went. Well, they just left. I'm gonna go after them right now on my bike because I need to pick up a package first. Because I can't wait uh, any longer. 
otherwise that it might be sent back because I will be gone for a week so anyway as you can see I live right by the tracks so I can see when the train goes by I live on the other side but now I have to have to cross wow the wind is intense And here we are, right next to the train station, in fact, train station is just here somewhere, this direction. This is an 18th century elevator, um, the least smooth elevator in the west. I get vertigo, vertigo, when I stand here. You can see the train tracks right there. I guess I live over here somewhere. You can't see it because of the obnoxious roof, but uh, here somewhere. But yeah, I realized when I was here for the first time that I'm not used to heights because I imme immediately got vertigo when I went on to the balcony because uh, I'm just not normally up this high. It's not super high, it's on the fourth floor. But still, I've gotten used to it though. I'm ready for the fifth, fifth floor. Howdy. Oh, I bet. Se inte hur det blir riktigt. Man får lite höjdskräck här faktiskt. And going down. I really don't know why I started filming here because there's nothing to show and nothing to say. I'm gonna hop in the shower and um, then see if I can fall asleep. Uh, we had, had a nice time today, went by really quickly though, I mean usually I'll see them for two days uh, or I mean you know it's mainly mainly my grandpa that I want to see, I mean he's my grandpa after all but um, you know I, I would like to see him or them for um, longer if I could but uh, you know uh, I'm leaving tomorrow, so but it it it, it does feel um, like a t too brief of a visit or whatever, too brief of a meeting, just to see them uh, for not even a day. So I would have liked to see them more tomorrow, but it's okay, you know, um, short visits or short, yeah. <laughs> uh, sorry, one more thing. I just took a shower, and in the middle of my shower, sure, <laughs> shower, I noticed something. Do you know what this is? This is a spider catcher, which I bought recently. Uh, not shown it to you before, but this um, I thought this could be useful if I want to catch spiders and if I don't want to kill them, uh, and if I don't want to get near them because I don't have to now. Um, well, if you're an arachnophobe, <laughs> I guess I'll warn you. 
but I'm gonna try to catch this spider that I, that I just found in the middle of my shower. Uh, I, they all, always look the same when I find them, and I wasn't I was not crazy about finding him right there or her, who knows? Uh, I'm not gonna check. And I hated bending over, washing the conditioner out of my hair with that spider up there. It's not like I think he's gonna crawl down into the wet surface, but um, you know, I have caught several with this. Actually, kind of works. I like that you push it. You, you don't. Um, I mean, when you release it. He's caught, so you don't have to push it in uh, while he's caught. So if, you, <laughs> if it was the reverse and you accidentally let go and it went open, then the spider would have, you know, crawled off. But uh, now you just just do this. You let go, and then he's caught. And then when you, when you want <laughs> when you want to let him go, you just push again. I think you get it. This is the reason why my vlogs are too long. Um, he might. <laughs> Let's see if this works. Usually works, but you kind of have to do it in the first try, otherwise he just crawls off. Let's see. Oh. Okay. See, that's what happens sometimes. You know, it's... This is suicide, spider. I don't think you want to go in here, so... Just let me catch you, okay? There we go. really see them when I release them but um, he's out there now so you know that's at least some well a more humane way of getting rid of spiders I guess and I kind of like that too um, it's kind of fun too it's so satisfying when you catch them I don't know. Um, but I, I have had some problems not problems but I have had probably close to 10 of those spiders and I didn't have that in, my, in the old place so I guess there are spider spiders crawling around all over the place. That's okay. It kind of cures my arachnophobia slowly but surely. I don't have arachnophobia, um, but it makes it better. You know, I don't think anybody likes spiders. At least not a whole lot of people. Um, anyway, I'm gonna show you. Speaking of this, I'm gonna show you one clip, and after that, it will be the next day. All right? Okay. This is from. Um, well, a couple months ago, something like that, I think. So I just came home from the gym. Uh, I don't know where I will include this this clip. I just have to show you this. Um, you know, just making some food, and I needed the uh, the cheese slicer. And if you have serious arachnophobia, just don't watch. It's not that bad. But I was getting the cheese grater or cheese slicer, and this little buddy is trapped. <laughs> and I hate. I mean, most people hate spiders. I don't know why. What what it is with spiders that makes us hate them? I don't think it. I don't think it's just that they crawl and it's creepy. It has to be something that triggers something. That you know, I don't know. Something that triggers something. You know what? That that reminds me of something. I saw this, this this video on Facebook, which was a spider catcher. It was like these plastic, um, pretty soft straws. That it was like you had. It was, I guess there was a handle, and you did. I don't know exactly how it worked, but the the um, the plastic straws grabbed the spider like that, and then you could, you know, easily just let it out. And you don't you don't need to get too close with your hands to the spider because, you know, I don't like I don't like them crawling on me. <laughs> so if you don't want to kill them, um, but if you think it's difficult to let them out some without killing them because they crawl all, all over the place then that is a really great invention actually, it really is. You know, both for arachnophobics and for pacifists. Oh, my, my yogurt is getting soggy, I gotta go. Good morning. Now the big question is, did I sleep? Uh, it looks like I'm really tired, or I, I reckon, well I feel really tired. Well not really, I mean I feel, <laughs> I feel like I look really tired. I'm not though, I, I actually pro probably slept for about five hours. I kind of woke up in the middle of the night and then, then I went in and, out, in and out of sleep, so I'm not sure exactly, but I think I slept for about five hours. So that's pretty good, uh, more than I thought. Well, I just had some breakfast, not too much, just a little bit, but uh, preparing some sandwiches for the go, for the, for the train ride, but I'm realizing that I don't have any ham. I only have cheese. 
Uh, cheese sandwiches, that's the most boring thing you could ever eat. Well, not really, but this it depends what bread you have. This bread, you need ham for this, just cheese is a little bit, little bit bland. I have cookies, you know, I bought some cookies yesterday <laughs> for the train ride. I guess I gotta kind of prepare. I gotta do some more packing and uh, and stuff. And I, I I need to be on the train in less than one hour. But it should be fine. Uh, train is really nearby. Um, I don't know if I, I showed you that. I don't think so. But I said that the train station is right next to my mom's apartment, and it only takes five minutes uh, to go there with bike. Uh, I think I'm gonna walk now, though. I don't know if I want my bike to stand there for a week. Um, I don't think it's gonna be stolen. It just feels. Just feels safer to um, to walk, and I might as well. So um, I just need 15 minutes before, but I'll leave at eight or something like that, just to be safe. Maybe eight or five. Um, but anyway, I'll get ready, and uh, I expect we will be in Stockholm pretty soon. In this video, I don't think I'm gonna film much on the way, but all right. So talk to you soon. Nu ska vi se vad vi kan känna efter jag känner inte. Vad heter den där båten som är där? Du är det väl ingen jul? Nej, det vet jag. För det, var jo, det är klart det är jul. Det är ju Nej, nej, nej. Det var något bra det där. Och vad är det där där då? Det är ju inte där. Det är ju det där höga stånden som är det. Det är lövliga tornet. Ska jag zooma in på det? Ja, det är tornet. Ja, det är som ligger där också. Det är det. Jaha, det är kaknast. Är du inte det? Jag tror du menar åkattraktionen. Det är vackert. Det där... En sån har jag åkt. Den där är ju i gamla stan. Det är slutsen där gamla stan där. Där borta ser du rosa huset med gröna tak. Det är ju sånt där det är ett Det är grann. Välkommen till videon. Well, it's not the film museum, but still, well, you might think it is, but this is an exhibition that you know, somebody took pictures of celebrities, I guess, actors, but it's just one of many at this museum. Well, that's a good one. Vi inte walk, ja. Nej, vad heter han? Lee. Inte på walk. Lee, Lee. Lee. Tack, Christopher Lee. Nu är det inte på Youtube. Vad tror du? Okej. Får jag bara fixa hår? Ja. Du är om en tagning två. Men det är inte jobbet här. 
det kanske inte är meningen att jag ska göra det här. Det är väldigt skönt att du tar den inte först. Men det gör du. Va? Gör det? Kul, ja. Nej, men det... det är ju ljud på kameran. Ska jag ta bort ljudet? Ja, Nej, men jag tror jag var sarkastisk då. Kanske. Jag vet inte hur du Well, I'm just minding my own business buying some candy here and look what she shows me. La Dolce Vita candy. Why? I don't get it. Well, I guess La Dolce Vita is an appropriate name for something that should be enjoyed, right? <laughs> Doesn't it mean like the beautiful life now? La Dolce Vita? Yeah, it does. I don't so. know, something like that. It's, um, have you seen the movie? I have, yes. I have not. You haven't? No. I think... I have it on like VHS, <laughs> but I don't know. I don't think VH what? What is it? What is in English? Yeah. VHS? VHS? I'm kidding. I, I just meant that it's obsolete, so I'm... <laughs> it wasn't funny at all. Yes, it was. It no. was totally clever. Not even a little bit. Little, little. I think just the fact that you don't find it funny is a sign that it was really clever. Because it just went like this. <laughs> no! <laughs> You're only doing that because it's easy for you to do that. I have a little more difficult I can go really far above your head. Yeah, you can. This really is going over your head right now. Hello. Well, we made it. We are here. Um, and we made it to the museum. Uh, not the film museum. But we talked about possibly going there when I'm going home. I don't know if we will have time, but um, possibly. Well, let's see how it looks. Well, this is where I'm gonna sleep. Uh, well, we'll both sleep here, me and my cousin, and also the rabbit, but it's not here now. Well, we're gonna have some dinner. It's um, gonna be a late dinner. But we got here much later last year than this year, because last year we, we were at... I said that. I said that I, th I think we will get here sooner this year, and we did. We've been here for maybe an hour, and uh, here's the rabbit. He's afraid of me. So we'll have some dinner, and maybe... And maybe a movie or a game uh, is what I was gonna say. I don't know if you watched the last vlog, but I don't know. This, this is what it looks like. You might remember, or you might not, or you might not have seen a, a video from here before. In which case, yeah, this is what it looks like. Oh, listen to all the crickets. Okay. Here we go. Oh, I did it again. I hit my head in that. Oh. You know, I did this last year, but I'll show you again. I can lean against this. <laughs> Sandwich. Ew. I just forgot to eat it. Well, I ate one. What's on it? In it, in it. Just cheese, but it looks kind of gross because it's, it's squashed. Good. But it looks really brown. Yeah, it's it's like um, Swedish meatballs uh, or something. It's why Lingen Grover. Oh. Lingen Grover. That's. This is um, a B side. <laughs> a P side. B side, this clip. Oh, oh, okay. So you're not going to show it then? Who knows? Who knows? Good morning.
Well, over the years I've come to know this view very well. It might look like just an average forest, and it, it is. But this is also where you go to do number one. Anyway, there's a reason why I'm here. Morning. Morning. Lunch, Morning. I guess. <laughs> well, I'm back in the uh, the bedroom or whatever, this little cabin that we sleep in. And I was going to do some editing, but my mouse doesn't... Well, it decided that it, for some reason right now it doesn't want to work. And it, it always works, so... Uh, ed editing on a touchpad is um, kind of tricky, but we'll go into 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 uh, the nearest city tomorrow. So I'll just pick up some batteries then, um, I, or maybe maybe they have some batteries lying around. But I think I'll just get some tomorrow. But uh, yeah, so yesterday we arrived. Oh, I arrived uh, at 1:30, and then they met me at the station. And then after that, we kind of locked my luggage and stuff in in uh, this little locker, and then we went to. Um, that museum, Fotografiska, is what it's called, which I've heard of that museum, but I've never been there and I've never really known exactly what it is. But it's uh, just a bunch of exhibitions with different um, different um, artists, I guess, different um, photographers, whatever, who um, yeah had, had their own exhibition. Three floors, uh, I think maybe five different exhibitions. One of them was with uh, Greta Garbo, or not with her, but with a bunch of pictures, obviously not, but with a bunch of uh, pictures from her movies and from various other um, uh, occasions. I didn't really have a good look at them. I mean, it was mainly just, you know, average pictures of Greta Garbo from movies and behind the scenes of the movies and, I don't know, press pictures or whatever, I don't know. Um, then they had a few, uh, well, three movies um, screened on the walls, obviously not at the same time, but one um, after the other. But they were screening a movie called Matt uh, Hari from 1931, which I just caught a glimpse of. You know, I don't really know the movie at, at all. But uh, and, uh, yeah, so and then there were some some other kind of random exhibitions, and it was it was all right. Uh, and then after that, on on the top floor, uh, on the fourth floor, I guess, uh, we um, you know had a bathroom break, and we went to the restaurant which you saw, which was an incredible restaurant with a great view. I mean, I guess the view was pretty much the same as. When we, we were walking by that railing, uh, not not the railing, but there was this um, this great view over Stockholm, which I showed you in the first clip, I think. Um, and um, yeah, that was practically 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 the same view that we had when we ate, as you saw. But uh, still, pretty cool to to sit down and eat at that place. Pretty pricey food, but it was it was delicious. It was really good. Um, but um, yeah, so that's uh, what we did yesterday, and after that, we didn't really have too much too much time to do anything else. So we just we just went home with the um, the subway, and then we went grocery shopping, and uh, yeah, then we went home. So that was yesterday. We didn't have time to go in any stores, but I wasn't really uh, I didn't have anything to do myself. Uh, but we might do that. Like I said, when when I, when I get home, it's possible that we will do that. But tomorrow we're going to, um, there's apparently a couple of flea markets, or at least one big big flea market uh, on the way to that big city, or well, it's not not a big city, but it's the nearest city, and compared to this place we're at, at now, uh, it's a big city. <laughs> um, it's at least part of civilization, you know. This is like outside of civilization. Uh, no, but it's just um, not much going on here. But um, yes, yeah, so we will do that tomorrow. And um, we'll see if I f I'm gonna look for some movies, of course, at that flea market. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I don't know. I might not find anything. But um, that's all the plans there is for now. So also, I, I forgot to tell you there was. <laughs> my dad told me something about my my sister's fish that she recently bought an aquarium, uh, and she only wanted one fish for the aquarium, at least for now. And so she bought the fish and she put it in the aquarium. And then one day when she went into her room or she woke up or something like that, she apparently went to my dad and she said, my, my dad told me this, and she told him, so the fish is gone. <laughs> and she said, what do you mean gone? Well, it's gone. And so they went up and had a look in the aquarium and yeah, indeed it's gone. And it was nowhere to be found. <laughs> Not on the floor. You didn't know that it was just, it was, it was just vanished. And so they couldn't figure out what the hell had happened because the fish was there, 
you know, the day before, and nobody had taken it. But they realized that there was there was this small hole or this small gap in the in one of the corners of the aquarium. So apparently the fish must have jumped outside of it, jumped out of it, not really knowing what it was doing. I guess it felt trapped, uh, thinking thinking perhaps that there was water on the outside too. I don't know. Um, and then they went to the um, the, the the well the store that uh, they got the fish from and told the owner what had happened and he said apparently like yeah I, I once had like a you know I don't know how many but let's say 20 fish in one one aquarium and then when I got back to the store the next day all of them but one were lying on the floor and they had also jumped out so apparently that's something that fishes do um, if, if you don't uh, cover the gap uh, but uh, at least the, sh the fish should be somewhere on the floor in her room but they didn't find it. But this was on Friday that he told me, so almost a week ago. It's it's third Thursday today. So I'm gonna gonna next time I talk to him I'll ask what happened to the fish. Did you find it? Uh, and then I'll tell you because I thought that was pretty funny, you know, just just gone. <laughs> Radishes, you say? And this is a salad, all three of them. Marigold, I think. Baby leaf. And. Nothing. <laughs> something else. <laughs> but it's funny because you can see where I dropped some extra seeds because those are the lines. <laughs> and I dropped two seeds here and one here. <laughs> hmm. So every mistake you do pays shows. off. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is a creative use of tires. <laughs> yeah. Well, my mom, she um, got into a little car accident, so <laughs> the car couldn't be used anymore. So. Um, well, but the, the tires the were perfect pr for this. Pretty new, yeah. so and she didn't want to throw them away, <laughs> so we did throw this instead. <laughs> and I have to show you those creepy spiders. If they're there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. more spiders in this video. That's exactly what we need. <laughs> they, no, they're gone. Some of them. Oh, thank God. Here. Whoa. A lot, a lot, a lot of spiders in. Did he see that? Eggs. Yeah, they're here. It's short. I said, "Shin." Oh. Yeah, they're here. Some. They're here. Some. They're here. Short. Some socky, var du nåväl? It is Friday, and uh, can I take a shower? And <laughs> only cold water from the tap here, whatever. So I've heated up some water, or well, it already actually was heated up when I got there. So you just mix this with uh, the cold water, and then you have to pour it over yourself with this cup. <laughs> so that's how it works here, out in the country. We're leaving for Nortelje. The bigger flea market was closed today, but we're going to... Uh, I don't know where we're going. We're going somewhere, second-hand store and some kind of grocery store and... Uh, yeah. So we're going on a major adventure today. To the far... Hmm? Uh, Scratch that. Thumbs up.
I found 10 movies, so expect a haul when I get home. And there are some golf clubs, and now I'm kind of stuck in the middle of a bunch of books on a very dirty floor with my cousin. I thought you were going to say with my dirty cousin. <laughs> well, if you prefer it that way. No. <laughs> Not at all. like 6.30 p.m. I think. Uh, I bought a lot of stuff today. Uh, we just carried some stuff in and now I'm getting more. But I bought, yeah, I bought 10 movies. I'll show you those. Uh, well, here's empty, but I think there's some stuff in the sides here. <laughs> and then I bought a game, a board game, and um, I got a couple of free books at the library. I don't usually go to the library myself. But they did, they are big readers, so I followed along, of course, and uh, they had a section of free books, so I found two. <laughs> Movie related, sort of. Well, one is, and the other one is, well, debatable, but I'll, I'll show you those. And then, you know, we went to the grocery store and stuff. Uh, we went to the, um, you know, alco alcoholic monopoly place. We went to the alcohol, the only place where you can buy booze. And I bought some cider, because my cousin likes cider, so she bought a few ciders, and I, I thought that I'll, I'll buy a couple ciders myself, because it looked good. And uh, <laughs> I thought that I would try to. So I got those here, I might as well show you them now. Uh, I, I'm not a big drinker, I, I really not. Um, <laughs> I bought two that looked good. I bought Breezer, that's lime, I think. Yeah, lime. And then a uh, side. <laughs> Real male drink this side, uh, passion fruit. But yeah. This is her, hers. I think that's that. Male drink. I meant manly drink, of course. I'm not very manly though. The hall. The hall is heavy. Oh no. Okay. Hi, and welcome to a DVD update. <laughs> well, I, I, I'm not gonna make a separate video out of that haul. I'm just gonna show you the stuff here. Um, I'm, I'm gonna show you everything I bought. White chocolate mousse. Yeah. And oh, I found some batteries. The most important part of the day. Now I can do some editing on my very long video. And uh, right, I found. Uh, I said that I got some free books at the library. Um, I, I got picked up this uh, Lucas Moodyson Evangelium poems. <laughs> You know, the only reason why I picked this up, and well, it was free of course, but Lucas Moody's on, he directed movies like um, Lilia Forever and uh, Together, and there are several pages here that are, th th there's nothing on. Anyway, uh, there, these are poems, um, and uh, I just, it was free, I just thought that, alright, why not, and... <laughs> This is, is kind of cool. Um, on the wings of film, I guess. Um, a history of the. F f <laughs> I don't. Flug. Well, I mean, movies about uh, aviators and airplanes and stuff. So, m hi the history of that in word and pictures, in words and pictures. I don't really know anything about that. I mean, the only thing that I'm thinking of is the that movie Wings from the 20s, 20, 20 what, 7, 8, I don't know. So that's what I'm thinking of, and I, I don't know <laughs> what uh, aviator pictures, whatever the English name of those would be. I don't know anything about those. I don't know anything about that subgenre. But uh, apparently there is one, so <laughs> I got a free book about that. And um, this is the board game that I picked up. 
uh, he charged me 25 because it does say 25 but it also says 20 here oh well uh, who wants to be a millionaire so we'll play this once I'm guessing here before I leave and then I guess I'll bring it with me although it is pretty heavy so uh, my, my bag is already heavy as it is so I'm gonna have to I guess I'm gonna have to god damn I didn't I didn't think about that uh, I might need uh, a separate bag or something I uh, not a not a huge deal but anyway so I bought that and uh, I got I got some some sweets even more sweets and uh, I got a couple um, protein bars and now to the movies so you know okay so I got Nosferatu too these were um, 10 take 10 movies for 100 crowns but if you bought less than 10 you paid 15 each and I found a bunch that I wanted but I was I, got, I only really wanted six of those but six would make it 90 crowns um, so if I added four I, I would get those for only 10 crowns so I, I just added four so Nosferatu was one of, one of the ones that I added I thought that I might be able to sell this, I don't know um, I found, and by the way, 10 crowns each would be um, a dollar for yeah, a little, little, little bit more than a dollar Dexter season 5, I finished season 4 a long time ago and I don't know if I want to continue to be honest um, not because it wasn't good, but it's just been a, such, a, <laughs> such a long time, so I don't know uh, Baghdad Cafe, I'm not sure if this movie uh, if I recognize this or not, um, <laughs> I guess I don't. Since I'm since I'm not sure, the journey to Melonia. Unfortunately, a very scratched disc. So I wouldn't. This um, I'm not sure if you can tell. No, I don't think you can. Well, kind of. Yeah, sort of. But um, yeah, like I said, I just added added four because they were practically free. <laughs> four movies for a dollar. Of course, I'm not gonna pass that up. Um, say anything. Never seen that. Um, feed my festen. I'm gonna sell this. Not sure how much I'll get, but uh, the Osborne season two. This is pretty expensive. Most places you look, so that's kind of cool. And then three Blu-rays. Carnage. I've seen this, but it was pretty good, or actually more than pretty good. So uh, I enjoyed. I I like movies that take place in just. Uh, well, as in this uh, movie, just one apartment and uh, just kind of confined spaces or whatever. Eden Lake, I have this on DVD, the exact same release, uh, but I thought that what the hell, let's get the Blu ray. Um, so, and then I got The Fly too, the, the David Cronenberg movie um, on Blu ray, so that's kind of cool. I have this on DVD, but I thought that I would upgrade because they were very cheap, and I thought, okay, let's, let's buy some movies. So that is the haul. Anyway, I'm gonna edit, do some editing now, I think. I don't think I'm gonna do it here. I I, no, I think I'm gonna carry the computer in to the big cabin and uh, have a seat at the table or something and do some editing. But first, let's have a piece of candy. best clip of this video pitch black oh no there's some light there's a sky we uh, this is a pointless clip you can at least hear what we're saying Pleasantville. oh good Pleasantville that's another one we are trying to come up with as many movie titles as titles as possible on the letter P and we have come up with at least 50 60 so far I think so if we struggle right now then that's why <laughs> Let's see, you can join us here, but ch chances are that we've already thought of whichever title you come up with. <laughs> um, I'm just kidding, there are so many movies on P. The more you keep going, the more you realize that there are a lot of movies on, um, well, every letter, really. Ooh, look at the moon, oh, it's Ooh, covered. Private Benjamin, I think, with Goldie Hawn. I haven't seen it. 
Project X. Peach. Pick of destiny. Well, tenacious D. Oh, yes. Ooh, look at this. This is actually. This is not gonna come off on camera, obviously. But this is nice. You can't see, but it, it looks better in person. Public enemies with Johnny Depp. The perfume. Perfume. Oh, I do. Point. A match point. Thank you, boy. Prom night, means well. Yeah. Good. And the remake too. No, is there a remake? Maybe not, I don't know. Should we call it a night for P? <laughs> no! <laughs> okay, th this is gonna be an ongoing thing yeah. until I leave. We okay. As many as possible. Oh. Thing is, we don't write them down, but I guess we can try to remember which ones we've <laughs> we are not said. Going to. We're going to say the same five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> after in a couple of days we're gonna start from the beginning. <laughs> Because we forgot which ones we mentioned. By the way, at this point we have been down to the dock and we are going back again. I don't know if it's obvious <laughs> in the video <laughs> what's happening. At least Paddington! you see Paddington. Yeah, see there are, there are dozens left. <laughs> Obviously, I want to think of a real art house movie because <laughs> we only thought of. You can say. Practically anything, and I would have no clue about if it's a real movie or if it's just in your imagination. You're just saying it. You can say like, "Oh, there is a film called Pink Pagoda." It is. It is. Oh. By the way, I'm 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 pointing the camera at you, but <laughs> I can't see you in I can't see you in the camera, so I don't know why I do that. <laughs> Nobody can see right I mean, Pickpocket is a Robert Brisson movie, but I, I wrote that when we did the game before, which yeah. I didn't tell you viewers about, but... Um, well, we couldn't, couldn't think of a movie on P that was foreign and that was um, artistic, so we're watching a movie instead on P. But that, that's just a coincidence. Yeah. <laughs> Pigs and battleships, right? I think uh, you know, I have this Shohei Imamura box, and I think Pigs and I think so. Pigs and battleships. I think one of the movies is called. So yesterday we watched um, the movie on P. We watched was um, a town called Panic. Which is on on T, I suppose, but it's um, or A, but but in Swedish and in French, uh, they are they start with P. Those titles, that title. Okay, um, it's Saturday today. Um, yesterday, I'm pretty tired. I don't know why I'm not vlogging now. Just woke up. It's about ten forty-five. Um, yesterday we, um, yeah, it was a nice day yesterday. We went to well, we went to that secondhand store, and after that we went. Um, we had some dinner um, at the uh, the secondhand store. Yeah, they they had a they had a cafe, uh, like an adjoining cafe, in the secondhand store. So I had some pie. Uh, my aunt had some pasta, and my my cousin also had some pie. My pie was well, it was really good actually. I wasn't expecting it to be that tasty. It was just an average like um, ham and cheese pie but I mean not an average one but I mean just just a typical a typical one I mean in, in terms of flavor but it was great it was really really tasty and uh, the salad was great too so I really enjoyed that I, I wouldn't mind going back and have another another piece to be completely honest um, anyway um, then we went to where did, where did we go after that all oh, right we went to the library I, I don't think I filmed anything more did I 
I don't think so. But we were gone for a few hours. Uh, we went to the library. They... No, I did say that. Yeah. Okay, and after that... Did, did I talk about this yesterday? <laughs> I'm sorry. I forget. Yes, I, yes, I did talk about this. <sighs> anyway, today we're going to um, do some baking. Uh, she, Hannah, uh, my cousin, I, I just I usually just call her my cousin, uh, but Hannah, she's going, she, she had decided to make some kind of fudge um, cake. Uh, I, I don't know what it's called, I'll show you later. Um, and then we had a look through the book and I, 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 I you know, these um, peanut butter cookies caught my eye. So I, 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 we decided to make those too. So we bought the ingredients yesterday that we were missing. So we will make those either today or tomorrow or something. I'm leaving on, 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 on Tuesday though, most likely. Still haven't talked to my dad, so I don't know if they will actually go up to Stockholm. Um, there's a reason why they're not sure. It doesn't, I, I'm not, I don't really, I shouldn't really get into it. Or I, I don't know, but I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm not gonna. But, um, if they, if they do get up to, um, go up to Stockholm, yeah, I'm gonna have to go home on Tuesday. There is one thing, I, ha I haven't had uh, access to the, in the internet here, uh, period, well. Well, not, well, okay, well, the, we do have internet, but we can't really use it too much because um, it's it's uh, expensive. But um, Arrow has released, uh, I, I haven't been on Facebook or YouTube or I haven't checked my email or anything like that since, um, since Tuesday. So, um, but, but Arrow have announced... Um, some new releases last week not this week but you know the week before they 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 they, they wrote wrote um something on facebook uh that said um we we just need a little bit more time with our our big re uh, with well with some releases because they're gonna be our biggest releases yet and that made me excited so they said we're gonna announce those next week which is this week <laughs> uh, and two days ago I saw, I went on Facebook to check, I borrowed the internet real quick, and I uh, went on the, on Facebook to check, and it said that tomorrow we will announce them, and tomorrow was Friday, which was yesterday, so they have announced them right now, and I'm sure that they were some good releases, I don't know if it's anything that I want, I, I don't know if I'm gonna check now, or when I, when, when I get home, either way, I'm gonna update you when I know, when I find out, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what um, titles they have um, announced, um, so. Right, but I'm gonna get up and uh, have some breakfast, and uh, we'll see where the day takes us. We, we were gonna go to um, the same place today as we did yesterday, because there is a bigger flea market. Uh, that's not the one, when I mentioned a flea market before, which I think I did, uh, that second-hand store was not the one that I was referring to. Um, it was not opened yesterday. It's only open today. Uh, so we were um, planning on going up there today as well. But now I heard them yesterday saying that maybe we won't do that. I don't really mind. I don't feel like I'm the, in the position to make decisions here. <laughs> I'm just happy to be here. I, I just um, I just feel spoiled uh, because my aunt is making all the food for me. You know, I don't need to do uh, anything like that, and I just, you know, I, I just get to go up here and just be here for a while. So anyway, I, I'm just, I'm just following along what they're doing. Um, I feel uh, whenever they ask me, like, what do you want to do? What do you feel? I'm like, oh, don't ask me. I'm just, uh, you know, I'm fine with whatever you guys come up with. Um, so I would have liked to go up there, but if if we're not gonna go, if we're not gonna do that, I'm sure they want to do that as well. It's just that it's it's quite a distance away. It's probably about an hour away to get there. So I don't know if we don't have anything else to do. Uh, yeah, no, we're not going up there actually because they opened very early, and uh, it's uh, too late now to go up there because all the good stuff will be gone. Um, so you we're, we're not going there today, but um, we were supposed to go to that place, that bigger flea market that they have never been to before. Yesterday, but yeah, they were not open yesterday. So breakfast time. Although I just thought of a genius idea. Hang on.
I was gonna watch uh, an episode of Police Squad, but I forgot the discs inside of the other cabin. So I have to go back. Time to bake a cake. So should we do the, the cake now or the cookies or both or what? Uh, I thought the cake. Okay, good. Because it's supposed to be in the fridge refrigerator for a while. So I thought we start Fudge with brownies that. with um, sea salt, I guess. Yeah, sea salt. And then we're gonna make these. First is though. Mm. 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 Vi står försiktigt när jag stod och var inne ja. där försiktigt. Jag vet inte, men det där ser ju lite knetigt. Men, <laughs> <laughs> men sen står det också att när, äggen, eller när vi häller in mjölet så kommer det binda eller någonting. Mm. Som det blir. Ja, det blir väldigt tunt. Mm. <laughs> Ska du ha en slik Jag tror det. Det blir ju ingenting, Joel. Eller hur? Att det behövdes det för att du stod med kameran. Now the cookies, oh. I think they're done now. Oh man. They are very warm. What is so bad? So the first batch of cookies are cooling. Cooling down. And then the other one is oh for fuck's sakes, build door frames for normal people, please. <laughs> the other one is in the oven, and then the fudge. I don't know. Are we wo are we worried about the fudge? No, it would be lovely. Yeah, but it's very looks no. very thin and crispy. No, no, no. Because the um, it's exactly as you wanted it to yeah, be. Because this uh, black, I can't. I don't know the word about for this, but it's too big. So you know, it's very um, crispy, thin. The uh, actual fudge. So we'll see. It looks more like a cookie, this too, but... Well... <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Well... Yeah, well, yeah. It's like, um, you know, the McDonald's, the pictures of the hamburgers on the menu versus the, what you get. Not really, but it looks pretty good though. Oh, by the way, it's from this book, United States of Cakes. So I guess this is a uh, American-inspired cupcakes, cake pops, cheesecakes, donuts, pop tarts. Yeah, that sounds American. Okay. 
Okay, first taste. Ett. You do first. Två. Tre. Reaction, please. <laughs> I'm thinking. While you think, I'm gonna try mine. I like them, I think. I don't really know. Hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> but. If you don't like peanuts, they're not good. <laughs> but they taste. They taste like store bought peanut cookies. Like? Store bought peanut cookies. Okay. Store bought. What's that? Store bought. You buy. The, the ones you buy in the store. Oh. They do? Yeah. Ah, store bought. I thought it was like a brand. They're pretty good actually. Yeah, but it wasn't like, mmm. No. And I'm pretty sure <laughs> that the fudge won't be here. <laughs> we'll find out soon it's enough. Burn. Yeah. Oh, we are both dead all. <laughs> Det var så lång tid har det inte tagit. Ett par timmar kanske. Ja. Inte hela dagen. Ett par timmar. Inte hela dagen. Och mamma är fortfarande i bad där. Mm. Det är inte konstigt. I was gonna ask, are you regretting your decision? But I'm just, I'm just gonna put subtitles and um, that will answer that question. By the way, you, you you can't feel the coldness, but the cold. But it is pretty cold, and when you imagine jumping into the water, stop! I'm, I'm you trying can, you, to pet myself. You can cover your ears. I'm just talking to my viewers. When you imagine jumping into the water, I can't. It, it, I mean, you need a fan to cool yourself off because the water is going to be so steam. Now she did cover her ears. She, now she didn't hear that. I actually was trying to pep you now. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, oh, <my. laughs> hey. You're funny, you know that? Uh, You're funny. <laughs> well, my the thing about you... No, never mind, that's, that's kind of rude. Yeah, well, I'm funny when I'm not so, when I'm not, don't mean it. Yeah, and that's when I mean to be funny. Nobody. Exactly, understands. that's what I was gonna say. But I thought that no, that's kind of mean. Yeah, well. But I you know, know you know it yourself. Yeah. yeah okay, so that's good. Actually, get inside the water. And I'm wearing a shirt because I'm such a dork. Yeah. But you're a nice dork. Look at the fish. What do you mean cold? It's pretty warm here. It's pretty warm. Well, you're a dork. It's cold as fucking hell. Okay, doppa det då. Om det nu är så varmt, Joel. Well, it's your legs is one thing, but your body hope. Oh. Wow! You went all done! I, I don't like having my camera here now. No, no, no. Put it over there. Äta fisken bara. Han simmar där. I'm always dorky, but I'm not usually this dorky. Yes, you are. Well, that was nice and a bit unexpected. But she, she uh, kind of um, convinced me to take a bath, bath, to jump in the water. And it was nice. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Let's hope your neighbor doesn't fall. Yeah, I do. <laughs> 
So it's yesterday and we just got home from uh, Norrtälje. I'm doing some editing. I've been fucking be. Hello. I was doing some editing and uh, uh, I mean I am doing some editing. I've been doing it for a few hours now. It's uh, coming along and it's uh, almost time for dinner. So just an update from the Stockholm Archipelago. I bought this game like I showed you and I think we might play this um, today or maybe tomorrow. We'll see, but uh, who wants to be a millionaire? Um, and yesterday or... Yeah, yesterday we, we played an another game that my aunt played. Where basically you, you shook this box and then there were two small little balls and one of them landed on a letter and one of them landed on a subject. And then in one minute or however long you decide on, you have to come up with as many words starting on that letter from that category, and I actually got, um, well, <laughs> it landed on film twice, so lucky me, I still didn't win, my cousin, she beat me, um, sh she has an incredible vocabulary, I must say, I knew that already, but she reads like a, like a fucking maniac, so <laughs> she will beat me any day when it comes to Swedish vocabulary, but anyway, so she won, we were four players, we had a guest, um, a friend of theirs, uh, from Poland actually, I mean, she lives here, but she's from Poland initially. Um, so we played together, uh, and it was fun. Uh, so I hope we will re return to that. And that's why we, by, I could have mentioned that before, but that's why we were trying to come up with as many movies on P. <laughs> anyway, back to editing before dinner. We have had dinner, and now we're gonna see who wants to be a millionaire. Okay, let's see if this is <laughs> if this is edible. Oh. <laughs> hey, okay. <laughs> it's nice, but it was supposed to be fudge. <laughs> this is this is not fudge. This is a cookie. <laughs> I like the salt on the on the top. That's a nice addition. I gotta say, this was actually really, really, really good. Much better than the peanut butter cookies. Even though this is not the way it's supposed to look like. What do you know? Mm. Can't stop eating. Peep show. Uh, episode four. Gee. Coming in. Incoming. Mm. We watched three episodes and uh, you, she really likes it, so I'm, I'm happy that she likes it. I thought that you might, so... Finally something I like. Yeah. <laughs> that, she, that she show me. Yeah. It, well, well, I figure um, British comedy is... Uh, it's a good court. A safe card. Yeah. Well, it's actually not even 1am. Uh, and we're gonna watch the fourth episode of Peep Show. Before we watched a Pilsner film, a Swedish, very cheap comedy from 1940. What, what do you think of the Pilsner movie from 1940? I didn't like it. Really? Not that one, <laughs> I, anyway. Um, yeah, you get a little bit bored after a while, because nothing real... Well, a lot of stuff happens, but it's really not this very, isn't very good writing. Good. It's, not, it's not a funny movie. It's like a comedy, that it's, but it's not funny. It's more like an, an enjoyable movie, because we did laugh. We, we sat there quietly and we're with laughing. her mom, too watching it and we were just like eh, kind of fun okay. but we're not laughing well, <laughs> so wasn't uh, that funny. and she's just taking selfies but what the hell did you feel hole Vet du att varje gång du pratar svenska så måste jag lägga till under texter <laughs> det är jättejobbigt Du vet att jag vet det va <laughs> Vill du ge mig mer jobb? Ja. Ja, tack för det. Before, by the way, we played um, the Who Wants to Be a Millionaire game, which really, I didn't like. <laughs> it was... Just because you lost. I d I d no, not really. I mean, the, the 3,000 crowner question was more difficult than the 1.25 million one. Uh, well, I mean, it's it's all about knowledge, what you, ha what you happen to know, but I don't know why you thought that it was... It didn't really become all that much more difficult, it just 
was kind of difficult from the beginning. Well, kind of, anyway. <laughs> but yes, I was a little bit pissed off because uh, I felt stupid because I misunderstood one important part of the rules and then we had to do it over again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did. Yeah. And she laughed like, well, too much. <laughs> <laughs> like the person I am. I like to laugh. I don't like to laugh. Not, yeah, not, not my not my cup of tea. <laughs> yeah, it is. I prefer being bitter about things in general. No. You're always bitter when I'm telling a joke. Hmm? That's, yeah, well, every time I tell a joke, you don't laugh. So. That's not bitterness. That's just uh, I don't see the humor. I'm looking and I don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> there is a... But that's because you have a really bad, 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 bad. Are you taking a picture of my chest? <laughs> yeah, you were! No, I can't see the um, the screen from here. Oh, that's not going to be, a, that's not going to be a good picture. No, it wasn't. Can I see? Yeah, okay. But are you sure? Yes. So, I'm just editing, and <laughs> that's where I film me editing before, so, meta, I don't like that word, just edited the part where I was taking a swim, which uh, I just kind of want to add that I think it's the first time I take a swim, period, since I've been here, and I've been here, every, well, not every year, I've missed two or three years, I think, um, but I've, I've, you know, except for that, I've been here every year since 2006 and I do not think do not think that I've ever taken a swim down there before I think I think this is the first time I mean I've you know I'm, I'm sure I've been dangling with my feet or whatever above the water and into the water but I've not actually gone inside the water yet before so my cousin's enthusiasm <laughs> was because she uh, uh, finally you know was able to convince me to take a swim after all these years literally every year since I've been here She's like, oh, you gotta take a swim this year, and I've been like, oh, I don't, I don't have any swimming trunks or whatever they're called, and um, you know, I've always had excuses, and she never, she, she was never able to get me to go inside the water, but now she did, so um, I'm sure she, she was happy about that. Uh, also, I look like, uh, yeah, dor dork is the right water, <laughs> right word for sure. I'm gonna book my train ticket home uh, today, tonight. Um, so sun, it's Sunday today, and I will leave on Tuesday. Uh, I still don't know if my dad and um, my family will go up to Stockholm, uh, but I'm going home on Tuesday regardless. Cause, uh, why? Well, I mean, I've been here for almost a week. I, I will, I, I will have been here for almost a week. So I figure uh, Tuesday is about enough, I guess. <laughs> I mean, it's really nice here. But uh, yeah, I'm going home on Tuesday. Anyway, back to the editing. We just watched Manhattan Murder Mystery. And I like it. I've seen it before. Uh, my aunt liked it, but my cousin didn't like it. Uh. I don't understand why exactly, because her reasons are vague. No. Anyway, she, you don't have to like it, but I no, like it. I, I know. Yeah, I know. No, you have to like it. I mean, it's unacceptable that you don't I like, like one of the better Woody Allen movies. Yeah, well, I don't like Woody Allen, and that's... I, I, see, I, I can understand people who don't like Woody Allen, I, I have no problems with that. I do have a problem, however, that you don't like Larry David, because he is the most amazing person in the world. <laughs> I can... Was, yeah. I think I like Woody Allen more than Larry David. No, I don't, but yeah. I like Woody Allen a lot, but no, not uh, more I than Larry David. I, I mean, they kind of look the same. You know... <laughs> If you don't like either, then you, sh you shouldn't watch anything else. No, sorry. Whatever Works. That's a Woody Allen movie with Larry David, starring him. I'm not going to. Thanks for the heads up. No, I'm going to show it to you next time. No, 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 no. So tell us about the fish. No. Yes. No, I'm not going to tell them. <laughs> oh. Can I tell them? Well, 
we were when when we were taking a swim, um, she showed you a fish, right? And I don't know if it was the same fish, but when she got home, I did not experience, I did not witness this, unfortunately. <laughs> but when she got home, she looked down in her bra, I guess, or whatever you were wearing, and she found a fish. A dead one. I don't know if, it, yeah, and I don't know if it's a <laughs> dead fish. <laughs> Which is super funny. No, it was terrible. <laughs> yeah, I, I, it was shocking. I understand it must have been traumatizing for you, but for me it's hilarious. Just a small fish, but big <laughs> enough. Still, it must have died on the way up. No, I, stop. <laughs> when we were walking back up from the from the ocean, or well, from the from the water. I didn't feel. <laughs> I didn't feel it. <laughs> oh, it was fun. It's funny. And it is Tuesday. Actually, did not film anything yesterday. I don't think. So, we'll be going home today. Um, I will leaving in just a matter of minutes. Well, I don't know, half hour. <laughs> well, it's 30 minutes, you know. Anyway, um, yeah, and then my train leaves at um, 20 past 3. Right now it's almost 9 a.m. in the morning. Um, me and my cousin were going to Stockholm. We're going to be there at 12 o'clock. So then we'll have a few hours before I'm going to leave. And then she's going to head off to a friend, actually the Polish lady that, that I mentioned before and spend the night with her who, she, who lives in Stockholm um, she just happened to be going home on uh, today for a little while and then she asked Hanna if she wanted to stay over so anyway so it's it's been really nice to be here for um, about six days almost maybe five and a half I guess um, and uh, but I'm, I'm looking forward to going home because um, yeah I'm looking forward to checking the internet and I'm looking forward to working out at the gym and I'm, just looking forward to getting coming home. I mean, that's always how it is. Uh, anyway, I'm guessing I will, uh, like I said before, in, in the you know, an hour ago or something like that, maybe a bit more. Um, you know, it's not gonna take long before I'll be home. Well, that's not what I said before. I said it's not gonna take long before I'll be in Stockholm, and uh, <laughs> I think I will be in Stockholm in the next clip. So, but um, yeah, I, I'm not looking forward to 12 hours of travel though. I'll be home at 9 tonight, maybe 9.30, something like that, but it uh, usually goes by pretty quickly, so... This thing is heavy. Bye-bye, see you next year maybe. Who knows? <laughs> So we're in Stockholm, walking around in Stockholm because I have like three hours before my train leaves yeah. and we're gonna watch a movie, right? <laughs> yeah. Maybe. If I Maybe not. Yeah, well, we could. Yeah, but we, we do have time. Yeah, I'm fine with it. But our food rod, I would like to eat first. Because I am... Starving. Yeah, kind of hungry actually. So, it would be nice if I could do that first, uh, but uh, it doesn't look like there is any... Do you want a Dunkin' deal? Isn't that that one? Hello, I'm home. <sighs> Give me one second. So, why don't you ask me if I'm happy to be home? Yes, I am. You, you didn't ask, did you? I thought we were in this together. Well, 
This was like a reflex, by the way. Mm. Speaking of this, I need to go get some groceries right now. Um, so I'll do that before I'll talk to you. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna. <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm gonna <laughs> gonna go do that right away. Um, and when I get back, I'm going to sit down in my couch and go online. Holy shit! I'm looking forward to it. You know, checking YouTube and Facebook, and I still haven't checked those Arrow releases, by the way. Maybe nothing uh, mind blowing, but I have been, you know, hyping this up to say the least. So I'm gonna look. I'm gonna film myself looking that up, and you know, my email and stuff like that, IMDb, and the news, maybe. You know, you know, politics is, you know, yeah, maybe you might. Maybe you should know what's going on in the world of politics. But in the world of movies, you know, that's the most important thing. Anyway, so I'm going to the um, supermarket and I'll be back just right now. I'm just going to put the groceries right here in one second, okay? Okay. Did some grocery shopping. I see that I have some mail here. I asked my mom to um, bring it in. Um, so she did. <laughs> and I have some stuff to open up. How fun. Um, so, oh, oh, God, I'm just gonna put the groceries in. And then I'm gonna have a seat in the couch and talk to you for a while. Okay. Okay, so I, I did some unpacking. Um, this I, I can tell you right now. I'm gonna I'm not gonna get to bed very early tonight. Uh, I should though, because uh, well, I, I, well, <laughs> I um, didn't sleep too well last night, and I've been traveling all day today. So, I mean, it would be a good idea to go to bed early and to kind of um, to get my kind of um, daily rhythm under control again. This would be a good opportunity to do that. But, and I haven't eaten much today. Um, so I have to. I did, that's why I did, did some grocery shopping now because I have to eat. I have to eat quite a lot now. <laughs> I mean, I, I kind of like to eat a certain amount of calories every day. Whatever. But yes, I didn't eat too much today, so I'm just gonna eat a bunch of food right now, which I'm looking forward to because I'm hungry. The reason why I haven't eaten a lot today is because I've been on the on the go, and I don't really. I just. I feel kind of stressed when I'm on when I'm traveling all day for 12 hours when I'm on the go when I'm not home when I'm going between places you know first we took two buses and then we took the subway and then we walked around in Stockholm and I filmed that um, and then we talked yeah we talked about a movie watching a movie we didn't do that uh, I would have liked to do it and she would have liked to do it too but we just didn't have time after the uh, the dinner that we had or the lunch or whatever um uh, yeah so yeah and that, so I did have lunch in Stockholm but uh, I, that's the first thing I had uh, at like two o'clock uh, and then you know just the train home B between all these things I, I just I don't find a lot of opportunities to eat when I feel comfortable to eat when I feel like yeah I'm gonna gonna get a sandwich right now whatever I just I just don't enjoy eating when I'm out and about like that uh, <laughs> Luckily, I'm, I'm, I'm not very often, so... Anyway, so I've eaten uh, some fried chicken and some rice. Uh, and I didn't even finish it. I, I ate most of it, but not all of it. Uh, and then I had like a few cookies. I, I actually, the, cookie, the, the cookies that I showed you in the beginning of the video, or I don't know about the beginning, but... Well, I guess this is a long freaking video. I mean, I've edited most of this, uh, you know, up in uh, the archipelago, so... I know it's gonna be a long video. So I guess in the beginning of the video. <sighs> anyway, the cookies. I had a few <laughs> a few of the cookies. That's it. Uh, now the Pepsi. So I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat and I'm glad I'm glad that I'm hungry. Um, but so because because of that, you know, me having to eat and uh, me wanting to check YouTube, Facebook, my email, I, I can't stop myself from doing that now. It's gonna be quite late. I don't know what the time is. I think maybe I have my cell phone here. Um, 10:15. So anyway, uh, I'll get I'll I'll fall asleep. Even if I fall asleep at 4 a.m., 
uh, I'll get up you know before noon and eat something and then head off to the gym which I'm looking forward to as well um, speaking of the I'm just jumping between subjects here but speaking of the, of the gym uh, or jumping between subjects but you know what I mean speaking of the gym um, I am gonna get back to that now because obviously I haven't worked out in a week well I don't know about obviously I guess I could have gone for a run or something or done some exercises on the porch but I just didn't you know um, but anyway so I'm looking forward to you know working out every day and eating healthier uh, I, I mean obviously well no whatever I mean when I'm up there I well, ju just I, I guess I don't eat you know when you're when you're away you tend to let go of your uh, daily you know your, your routines I guess so um, that goes for the diet too so not that I am dieting you know but I, I haven't been eating what I usually do um, so I'm gonna get back to that and just try to eat a lot healthier now because I have I wouldn't say that I've pigged out <laughs> maybe I have but I, I haven't really stopped myself from eating the good stuff um, so that's gonna change now and I'm actually kinda looking, kinda looking forward to it to start eating healthy now for a little while and to work out every day and stuff like that that's gonna be uh, yeah it's gonna feel good to do that uh, not that I haven't enjoyed all these cookies that we made <laughs> especially that chocolate cookie although it did say <laughs> it did say whisk the eggs or stir the eggs carefully and I don't think I did that I, I, I wasn't really sure exactly how I was supposed to do it carefully um, but uh, there were some egg chunks in the cookies I mean you could feel some chewy bits tasteless but I feel like they were probably from the eggs um, but anyway despite uh, you know despite that they were delicious so um, and yeah lots of candy um, I mean I haven't I haven't eaten large quantities of food but uh, I've had unhealthy stuff I can yeah I, I think I'm going to I'm gonna check the arrow releases now and after that uh, I'm gonna do that on camera and after that I'm gonna make some food and uh, then well I'm not gonna I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn the camera off after that and then you know just have some alone time and uh, make some food um, and just be uh, go online you know and just check the internet um, I don't know I mean it's I don't know about you if you're ever away from the internet for <coughs> a week sometimes I mean I don't have a smartphone so I don't I, I don't have portable internet so um, um, to be gone from internet in a week is uh, it hasn't been that tough um, and it's, it's not really really that long and it can probably be good for you but it, uh, what I'm trying to get to is that it's so great to get back to it to come back to your comfort and to your to your computer and just go online because last year I, I, it was the same I was up there for a week and no internet for one week and when you get home and you get to use the internet it feels like such a luxury and that's a great feeling so anyway um, speak I, I wanna get back to the movie we I, I think we, we would have done that if it wasn't oh nice I, I don't know if you can see my knees here I did I had jeans on but I had to dig up dig out my shorts here um, anyway so um, we, um, we we would have got, gone to see a movie if it wasn't for the fact that we didn't have time we did check the the, the train schedule or, or the the train departures yesterday and or I did and I saw that the cheapest ones went uh, 320 and 420 that's why we had such a long break or such a long you know whatever why it took so long in Stockholm before my train left because there were trains that left earlier it's just that they were so much more expensive so uh, but th there was one with uh, the same price I think pretty much uh, which uh, departed one hour later and if I would have gone with that we would have made it <laughs> to the movie which uh, would have made of course my evening even even later so maybe that's for the better that we didn't think about that um, but uh, it was just so it, it would have been nice to after after lunch to go and watch a movie completely spontaneously at the at the theater um, but anyway it was not meant to be um, and I think the only movie we could have watched which would have 
you know, suited us, or I mean, which would have been um, you know, time-wise appropriate or whatever, would have been Ice Age 5 in 3D, which I would have loved to see Ice Age 5, but not in, not in 3D. But, um, yeah, anyway, I guess that's all I was gonna talk about. I mean, nothing much, but, you know. Um, I'll be seeing them pretty soon, though. Uh, fields, it, it's always like this, always. When I've been been away up there or whatever, you know, I enjoyed while I'm there, and then towards the end, it's like I kind of want to get back home now, and I get a little bit irritated, and a little bit, uh, I just I just want to be home right now. And then when I get home, I kind of feel like I miss it, um, and I feel like um, you know, I, like I want to be back. <laughs> I don't really want to be back, but I feel I'm torn between where I want to be really. Um, if that makes sense. I think I was gonna say that I will be seeing them soon again and uh, my, the rest of my cousins too in prob probably a couple of weeks and um, so even though it feels like, even though I miss them right now uh, as you do, you know, uh, I'll be seeing them again pretty soon. Anyway, let's uh, open up the, uh, the laptop. I don't think I turned the internet off when I left. Maybe I should have done that. But um, Here's my beautiful Chromebook. I'm gonna check the Arrow releases, like I said. Um, so this, I'm actually gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna scroll, I'm gonna go onto Arrow's page on Facebook. I'm gonna scroll down and then I'm gonna go up, as opposed to scrolling down and revealing the releases by scrolling down, because that makes it... That ju that just makes it feel feel like I'm late to the party, you know. If I go down and if I if I look up and scroll down far enough, and then um, I scroll up, and <laughs> what am I talking about? And revealing the titles, scrolling up instead, then it feels like it's happening now. I don't I don't know. I don't know really why I needed to tell you that either. Uh, it wasn't really crucial information, but. So I'm, I'm gonna do that, <laughs> and uh, this is gonna be great, okay. Okay, so, let's see. Here I am. I saw this, this is the update that I saw uh, on, I, I think I talked about that on, on Saturday. Um, let's see what, what we have here. Um, vamp, I don't know what that is. I don't think that's uh, one of the biggest releases, though. Uh, I'll look these up later if I don't know what they are. Um, Bride of Reanimator, uh, I guess the uh, non-limited... Anyway, that's not the cool stuff. Dark Water. Um, uh, yeah, Dark Water. The Herschel Gordon Lewis Feast. Wow. 2,500 limited copies. I wonder if they're sold out. Holy shit, look at all those discs. I think I've seen... I don't know if I've seen any of his movies. Hmm. Well, anyway, that's... Wow, okay. I'll look more. I'll look into that more later. Well, right after this. Ah, <laughs> um, oh, wow. 500 Limited. That's gonna be gone, right? That's not... That's not, that's not available anymore. Look at that. Wow. Also Herschel Gordon Lewis, but a more uh, limited release, I guess. Pretty cool. Um, I guess that's that. Yeah, so, a little bit disappointed, just because I have never seen any of his movies, and I don't know if I like it, but... You know what, let's just go... Uh, let's just check it out right away, if they are sold out, and let's... Um, Let's see what they will cut. Let, 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 let's check. let's look up the price. Uh, it doesn't seem like they're available from Arrow Video. Only from Amazon. Actually, this last one doesn't seem like it's available from Amazon either. Boxofgore.com. Um, UK price, £160. It's a lot of money for something that you don't know if you like. <laughs> Only 31 remaining. Gotta make up my mind fast. Well, how about this other one then? One hundred and twenty pounds. I don't think this is uh, anything that I will get because it's so expensive. 
Uh, it, is really, it is really nice though, I mean how many discs do we have here? 13 or 14 movies or something like that. 7 Blu-rays and 7 DVD discs. Anyway, so that is the big announcement. Yeah, that is that is a pretty cool announcement, but um, like I said, I I might not get this one. But anyway, I will look into it more though. Um, look into the movies more. Um, I am starving now though. I'm gonna make some make some food and I'm gonna check YouTube, um, and um, it's gonna be great. I still don't know if. Um, if I'm gonna watch the dogs tomorrow, so I guess I'll find out tomorrow. I have no idea. Okay, bye bye. I'll, I'll round off the video tomorrow or whatever, whenever. But almost over now. So okay. All right. So I just did some grocery shopping and I picked up those packages. Now I'm making some food. Well, just just a sandwich. I was gonna make chicken, but it's so late and I haven't even defrosted it. So I was like, nah. Uh, I'll just eat some sandwiches and some granola and stuff tonight and um, so to, um, tomorrow I'm going to um, my dad, uh, it's his birthday on Friday but me and my sister we're gonna surprise him tomorrow because my dad is home um, and my stepmom and my sister are in Stockholm and you know I mean why are they away on his birthday? Well I mean it's his birthday on, on Friday but uh, my sister is not home then. I, I might go up there, but we're gonna cel celebrate him later. Don't worry. Um, but it, it, it's not like they went away on his birthday. I feel like I need to explain this now. <sighs> it's basically um, they were gonna go up the four. My dad, my stepmom, and my two siblings. Not my older sister, but my two younger ones. They uh, were gonna go up to Stockholm all four. But my brother couldn't go. And so my dad is staying home with him, but you know, I, I guess my sister wanted to go So, you know, my, my stepmom is going with her, whatever, so they are away over the weekend and um, I think over the weekend and um, So me and my sister we are gonna my older sister we're gonna celebrate him tomorrow just briefly and Surprise him with a cake which was her her idea because we, we would have done it on Friday, but my sister like I said, she's not home then, so, um, yeah, I, so, I don't know, maybe, maybe I should <laughs> surprise him again on Friday, uh, we'll see, but, um, so I just thought that I would, um, just include that as a last part of this video, I don't know, it, it might not be a whole lot of footage, but, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go there tomorrow, so, uh, we'll do that, and then that will be the end of the video, um, so, yeah, thank you for watching this very long, you know, two hour video, <laughs> and um, and you have one more clip to look forward to, okay, so, um, yeah. Here's the, here's the wall of my old school. I don't know why I decided to show you this, but uh, I'm sure you can't, not, you can't even hear me, I'm gonna have to add subtitles to this. Anyway, and a few minutes later, this playground is so depressing right now. They have removed everything. There used to be, oh, I don't know what that's called, but there used to <laughs> used to be more stuff here. Anyway, I'm waiting for my sister. We're gonna surprise my dad. The house is just over there, so I'm waiting at the playground here at the park. Um, and um, she is grocery shopping. I just spoke spoke to her, so we're gonna meet right here, <laughs> and then we'll head over to. Um, the house and surprise him with the cake that she has just bought. So, so yeah, I'm just just got done with uh, working out, and then after that, you know, did something that you gotta do. Uh, and I'm glad that I did it. I mean, I had had to do it, but one of those things that feels good after. Just some things you just gotta do in life. I don't. I'm gonna, I know I'm cryptic right now. It's not really a big deal, but anyway, point is, I'm feeling good, um, and so yeah. Uh, would be nice to um, surprise my dad with a cake. The problem is though, I don't know if I have too much battery, so I should probably stop talking right now and save the battery for the surprise.
Ja. ja, Joel och Amanda är här och sjunger. Uh, what a chaotic entry. Hello. She always does this. She sits further and further away until the point where you can barely reach her and then she decides that that's the place she's gonna sit. <laughs> See? I don't know why. <laughs> she started doing that early in her life and then, I don't know. This one doesn't though. She's all up in your face, this one. <laughs> well, usually. Oh, careful. You want some cake too? <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, that was not. Well, that was nice. No. Now we're sitting. Now we're sitting and talking, and we're having a really good time. I can't talk fast. I'm, I'm incapable of talking fast. But we're having a nice time. I, I did that on purpose, by the way. I heard it before I turned on the camera, and I thought that it would be funny. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. And that's it. Bye bye.